Welcome to Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, our special holiday show. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. This is our second holiday special as we continue to look at the holiday season and how it affects your home, your family, and you. Today, we look at gift giving with a lot of great ideas that will make your gifts a personal statement for a friend or loved one. Also, Debbie, I have some tips that will help you get into the whole gift giving groove. Not I that you need any help with that. I like it, though. So stick around and see it right here on Designing Spaces Holiday Special. You know, the holidays should be a time of celebration, of joy, of coming together, and of gift giving. And what better way to give than to give from the heart, an expression of warm memories of family and friends. Your favorite photos often capture cherished memories, so why not share them? Picture this. <laughs> This time of year, we give lots of thought to holiday gifts for family and friends. Sometimes it's difficult to find that perfect gift, something truly personal and unique. Well, we've got some great ideas for you today using your own photos. To show us how, we've invited Renell from Kodak Gallery. Renell, so glad to have you back here on Designing Spaces. Thanks. It's great to be here again. Now, you are really helping us get all of our gifts for this holiday season and making them unique and personalized. And you brought a lot of examples. So we're where do we start? Okay, well, let's start with our photo books. This is a truly unique, meaningful gift, and it's actually a lot of fun to make. It's really simple. Um, you can upload photos, and let's say you have a friend that you went on a trip with. Mm -hmm. um, you can make them a travel book as well as yourself. Right. Um, we oh, have nice. different backgrounds, a variety of styles and sizes, um, and you can use our new resize and move feature that allows you to uh, resize pictures, move them, drag them around, also the text boxes. For someone who's never made a photo book before, how easy is it to maneuver the website and create their own book? It's so simple. Um, you just go to KodakGallery.com, mm -hmm. um, go to the photo books um, page, and then you'll find different ways to make a book. So you can have us automatically create the layouts, or you can use that resize and move feature once you're in the application. So it's good for beginners and then also yes. for advanced. You can get as creative as you want. I love it. Okay. Another way to use the book is our recipe books. And so this is a great Christmas gift. Um, if you think about all the family recipes yes, that you have. what a great idea. It is. And you want to pass that on and right. share it with friends and family. Right. And you can ask the whole family, get everybody involved, right. share a recipe or two, and then that would make a perfect holiday gift. Exactly. Like that. And then a great gift here is our wall art, and this is a perfect gift um, for grandparents. Oh, they would love that. Yes. Yeah. And this is how you see we use um, kid photos mm -hmm. and also scanning um, pictures of their artwork that they've drawn. So you don't, you know, paper gets ruined right. throughout the years, right. so you want to make sure that they're saved. And this is quality um, wood panels where your photo is infused onto the wood panel. It's UV coated and scratch resistant. That is a really great idea, and I like when you said it because most of the time you put artwork up on the fridge and it yeah. gets ruined. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is perfect, and it's so nice to have your own artwork of your photos right. on the wall of something that you know versus just going and buying something. I like that. Another cool gift we've got is the photo phone case for your iPhone. Yeah, that's very unique. I yes. haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> and this is an example of showing um, photos that, you know, are of maybe a place that you love, that's mm -hmm. Paris, or a shot of a butterfly. You can make, you know, be creative. Um, this protects your phone. It's shatterproof, scratch resistant. Your photo is protected. So it's helpful for your phone at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. And then brand new this year, our premium leather collection. We're so excited about this. This is your photos printed on top quality leather, beautiful stitching, and you'll find a variety of styles. For him, we've got a bifold wallet. There's an ID card wallet for anyone, and then for her, a checkbook clutch. Yeah, and everyone needs these and can use these items. So That's this right. is perfect for that person. We all have one in our family that you can never find the exactly. perfect gift for. That, that would be ideal. And let's say you have somebody that likes to travel. Mm -hmm. um, the luggage tag is really popular for that. That's really cute. A compact mirror for your girlfriend. 
and then um, a key fob that anyone can use. Anyone can use. And I like the, the compact because you can actually do those as favors for a party or a wedding or something and put everyone's photo on it. Exactly. You can really be creative. And like you said, the luggage tag, you can create different scenes from every place that you've ever traveled exactly. on your different pieces of luggage. See, I'm getting all these great ideas. <laughs> Good. And then the ring tote is a great grab and go. So, you know, you can use it as a purse or a beach bag. Oh, that would make a great beach bag, actually. That's really, really cute. And then we have That's our cool. really popular um, photo wall calendar. Um, we've introduced a larger size. Oh, wow. Look at so that. we have different backgrounds to choose from as you're getting ready for the next year. You can right. start any month. Um, but brand new, we also have the ability to put photos and add text to dates. So you'll never forget a birthday or miss an anniversary. That's really nice. Not only for yourself, but if you can create a calendar for someone else with their children and their family, that also makes a really Really great gift. Exactly. I mean, who doesn't need a calendar? So that's <laughs> perfect. Where can our viewers find all this information and create their own personalized gifts? Go to kodakgallery.com slash DS holiday. Then you'll find it all there. Easy enough. And then you'll walk us through from there. Yes, exactly. Well, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Great, great, and unique ideas. Thank you. Like it. Well, we're going to have a link to their website on ours at designingspaces.tv. We hope we gave you some great ideas to create your own personalized gifts for your family and friends this holiday season. Happy holidays, everyone. Make it a great one. Bye. Coming up next on Designing Spaces Holiday Special, delicious gifts from an old favorite. You might even want to get a couple of these delicious gifts for yourself, and you can share them with your friends and your family. Now, if you have friends who live both far and near that like an occasional delicious treat, then you'll want to see what we have for you next. Think cookies. Okay. Always think cookies. But there is more to it now that cookies can become a personalized gift. Here's Rhonda Castagna with the story. Here on Designing Spaces Holiday Specials, we are always on the lookout for great ideas in the gifting department. And we have a real winner for you to check out today. Now, who doesn't love cookies, along with a little extra surprise rolled in? So joining me today is Jennifer Jobin from Mrs. Fields. Oh, yeah, you can see where we're going with this. We're going to get a chance to check out some of these great gift ideas and maybe even sample them as well. Welcome to Designing Spaces Holiday Show, Jennifer. Thank you so much for having me. We love this time of year at Mrs. Fields. We love Christmas, too, and everything on this table looks so beautiful. So tell me what you brought today. I brought a huge abundance of product with me here today. So uh, we've got our frosted cookies. We have, this is my absolute favorite, which is our dipped cookie. Uh, it takes an original Mrs. Fields cookie, and we dip it in milk chocolate and white chocolate, and sometimes we even add a little bit of our dark chocolate on there. Speak in my language. We also have our brownies and our cookies from our original assortment. And uh, this product right here, which is our wreath box, I love this box because it has a little bit of everything. So in addition to what I've already mentioned, it also has our chocolate chip cake. It's got our new popcorn this year, which is our peppermint bark mm -hmm. popcorn. It is absolutely delicious. We've got hot chocolate. We've got vanilla taffy. And we have the nibbler cookies that you don't feel guilty eating because they're so small. If you can eat just one. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And also, we have our new coffee this year, Mrs. Oh, Fields Coffee. Yes. And uh, we have our signature blend. And then we also have some flavored coffees. Wow. So how easy easy is it for someone to order this as a gift idea? It's so simple to order. You can go online and you can order up until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to actually ship the same day for delivery the next day with our expedited service. Or if you're a procrastinator like I am, you can even go to one of our 250 retail stores and pick up same day. Okay. Well, I know that a lot of this has to do with the packaging as well. I love some of this packaging. It leaves such a lasting impression. And that's the first thing that people see when they receive a gift like this. And I even noticed that you have things that are personalized, like sports teams and family photos. So tell me about that. Well, we have a gift really for anybody. Anyone that's on your gift list, we've got a gift for. And so uh, this package right here, who wouldn't love to get him? This so is our cute. ultimate snowman. He is full of product. And so once the product is gone, which it doesn't take long, by the way, for our product to disappear, uh, you can use him to store holiday ornaments or holiday cards. We also have um, a top hat, which I love. Um, all of this is exclusive packaging. So we have a design team that actually creates this product, and you wouldn't be able to find it anyplace else. So there's something in here. Oh, there is. <laughs> yes. We've got it's adorable. in every one of his compartments. Oh, he has cute. product. It's very cute. And I love these as well. These are beautiful. 
Thank you. So this is our personalized gift line, and um, there's a trend uh, that's emerging, and we all know that we like to send gifts and we like to have our personal touch or add our personal touch to it. And so you can add a photograph, you can put it onto a cookie tin, you can do it on a cookie jar. Our customers love cookie jars, mm -hmm. and so this is a great way to personalize a cookie jar and send it to your grandmother or to your mother or to your boyfriend even for Valentine's Day if you want to. And they'll always remember where they got it, so that's the good thing too. They will, and um, in addition to personal gifting, we also do corporate gifting, so you can add your logo to any one of our products. You can do a platter. Right here we've got the Designing Spaces logo on that platter. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. And then um, you can add it to a cookie tin. You can add it even to a basket if you'd like. We embroider our baskets with names. Uh, and then we also can add a company logo to ribbon if you're interested in doing one of our baskets or towers. Okay. So everything can be ordered online, correct? That's correct, at mrsfields.com. And just for your viewers of Designing Spaces, we've created a promotional code, which is DSPC. And you can use that to get free personalization, which is normally a $4.99 value. Oh, well, thank you very much, Jennifer. You're welcome. And we'll also have a link to Mrs. Field's website at our website on designingspaces.tv. And you can review any part of the show again in case you missed something. For Designing Spaces, I'm Rhonda Castagna. Have a delicious holiday season. When it comes to gift giving, we sometimes feel we can use a little guidance. The task can become overwhelming, but it shouldn't be. So Designing Spaces did a little research to come up with some tips that could help you get it together for holiday gift giving. First, let's get into the spirit. You know, the spirit of giving. For the holidays, you should be true to yourself and give a gift because it's an expression from your heart. Plan ahead. Never go out without a shopping list. Work up a budget. Make a list of who you're going to buy a gift for and then figure out how much you have to spend. And then you can allocate how much you want to spend for any one person. Remember that this is the time of year the malls and stores can be a mob scene. And parking, well, we know what that's going to be like. So why not let your keyboard and the internet help you with shopping? Shopping at online stores can save you a lot of time, stress, and even money. But do keep an eye on shipping costs and plan for enough time for the gifts to arrive. Best advice, shop early. That's right. Also, when preparing that shopping list, you might also want to create a little wish list. No, not for you or for you, <laughs> but a list for items you know friends and loved ones would absolutely have to have. Now, there are gift alternatives, items like food. You're talking cookies, mm. cheese, chocolate, and wine. All the above for Debbie. Also, flowers and plants, especially for those you know have an appreciation or a green thumb. Sometimes all it takes is a show of thoughtful appreciation, just a token that you're thinking about them. You can even make it a personalized gift, something you crafted yourself that shows you care. Now, you may also want to put together a wrap station just like this, where all the, not that wrap oh. with a W here, <laughs> all the supplies are in one place, so it's super easy. Right, and when it comes to gift giving, presentation is everything. So make sure you have your scissors, Got em. your tape, mm -hmm. pens, tags, wrapping paper, bows, and ribbons. Yep, got it all. Set. Now, what do you do if you're given a gift, but you have no gift to give in return? Very good question. For one thing, don't run out and buy them a gift. But also, avoid acting embarrassed or awkward. Graciously accept the gift and express how thoughtful they are to have given you that gift. But most importantly, decide you're going to have a good time gifting for others. And guess what? You will. You absolutely will. So happy gifting, everyone. Look, this is your... Wow. Hey, I like your paper. Nice wrapping job. Think alike, don't we? Coming up next, we get creative while maintaining our gift-giving theme. Personalized cards, decor, and designs. From you to your loved ones. Right here on Designing Spaces Holiday Special. With the season just getting started, it's a good time to get into exploring, let's say, your creative side with a little crafting. Even the kids could get involved. Sounds like fun, but this is crafting with a purpose. Holiday gifting and entertaining, even as part of your decoration. To show us how to get started, our very own Rhonda Castagna discovers her inner personal artist. She did. Really? You'll see. Okay. There's nothing like making a holiday greeting or gift a personal expression. And with the season approaching, it's a good time for you to get into exploring your creative side with a little crafting. Now, this might be something even the kids could get involved in. 
Well, to help get those creative juices going, we have Ginny Glazer here with us today from Speedball Art Products to show us some simple yet effective ways that we can create holiday cheer using printing. Welcome to Designing Stacia's Holiday Show, Ginny. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you for having us on the show. Now, you brought along some samples here for us to look at today, and this is printing, and it's do-it-yourself printing, right? That's right. Everything that you see here has been handcrafted mm -hmm. using the printing process. And you can see here that we have things that have been printed on paper, but also on fabric. And you can make as many copies as you'd like. And what's great about it is you can print so many things. You can make matching tablecloth and napkins. You can make t-shirts, wow. cards, holiday cards, almost anything you can think of. And I would go crazy with that, just so you know. You have but a lot of fun. We have some stuff set up on the craft table here, so I'd like for you to show us exactly what all of this is and how do we use it. Well, we'll start with block printing. Okay. And block printing was originally done using a block of wood. Mm -hmm. And you might remember as a kid, maybe using a linoleum block. Yes. Well, what we have now is Speedy Carve. Okay. And first, what you have to do is transfer your image. Okay. And you can do that in, in many different ways. You can draw directly onto your Speedy Carve. You can simply freehand carve. Mm -hmm. Or what you can do is print off an image from your printer. I can do that. <laughs> and what you can do is transfer it to your Speedy Carve okay. by just laying it down on the speedy car mm -hmm. and placing a warm iron. And when you lift that away, there's your image. Then what you'll do is you just start carving away what you don't want to print. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how that's done, very easy. Then what we do is we just roll out our ink okay. with our brayer. All right. Great, so now we've got all our ink on the block. Okay. And we're gonna print a card. So we just lay it down on the block, take the baron, gently rub, Lift up, and oh, there you have your that's cards. Beautiful. And you can make as many as you want. You can send everybody on your holiday list yes. a greeting card for Christmas. That's beautiful. Now, this looks a little harder to me. What exactly is this? Now, we're going to show you a little bit about silk screening, which is another great process mm -hmm. uh, to make prints. Uh, the easiest way to get started with silk screening is by using a stencil. Mm -hmm. And it's very simple to do. You just take a transparency, you can transfer an image just like you did, mm -hmm. and cut out, cut it out. Cut it out. And then what we'll do is lay it down on our card, put your screen down, and here we're going to add our ink right along the side of the screen, okay. which are beautiful green metallic. Hold the screen, the frame, and then just run the squeegee across. Oh. Wow. That's and then beautiful. there's your card. Oh, how simple that was. Very simple. So tell me about this, Ginny. This screen has been burned using the photo emulsion process. Mm -hmm. What you do is simply spread and coat your screen with the photo emulsion. Now, is that a liquid? It is a liquid. And you'll just pour it onto your screen, and then with your squeegee, just spread it across the screen. Mm -hmm. At that point, you just take it somewhere to dry. Mm -hmm. And when it's dry, then you take your printed artwork that you've printed off your computer okay. with the transparency and lay it on your screen and expose it to a light source. It's kind of like developing a photo. Exactly. And when you remove that, you just wash out the screen mm -hmm. and your image is revealed. Wow. So what type of things would this be good to use on? Well, this is great for almost anything. You can print on paper. You can make a card okay. like this. You can also make some wrapping paper, mm -hmm. but you can also use fabric ink mm -hmm. and print on t-shirts or linens. So once we finished our printing, what about cleanup? How easy is that? Cleanup is very easy. All of our products are non-toxic, and you can just wash it off in your kitchen sink. Well, this has been a lot of fun, Ginny. And where can we go to find art kits like this? You can go to um, a large craft store mm -hmm. such as Michael's, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, or Aaron Brothers, or you can also go to your local fine art store, mm -hmm. which you can find um, at our store locator on our website, mm -hmm. which is speedballart.com. All right. Well, thank you so much for the demonstration, and happy holidays to everybody at Speedball Art. Thank you. You're, Same to you. You're welcome. And you can also see this part of Designing Spaces holiday show again by going to our website at designingspaces.tv, and there we'll also have a link to the Speedball Art website as well. I'm Rhonda Castagna for Designing Spaces. Have a joyful season. So, Debbie, we are already out of time.
Okay, well, we have so many great seasonal ideas for home and lifestyle, but I guess it's going to have to wait until our next holiday special. Mm -hmm. So until then, I'm Debbie Ruiz. And I'm David Jones. Thank you so much for watching Designing Spaces Holiday Special. Have a safe... Oh, and happy holiday season. That's what I was going to say. You were? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash dspacesTV or friend us on Facebook. Type in the words Designing Spaces. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.